what's going on YouTube today I'm working on this 2016 Ford Fiesta we're gonna be replacing the front brakes and the rotors normally I'd have the wheel off already but I'm gonna show you all a common problem on these and how to solve it anyways if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe so I continue to make videos like this to make your life easier let's get started now the first thing you want to do is make sure your steering wheel the keys on the accessory position so you can turn your wheel in and out because if not the steering wheel will lock normally I'll keep them in neutral too if you got a lift. Not a good idea if you're working at home. Anyways, normally these lug nuts would be a 19 millimeter, but notice the 19 is not going to fit on there. So a simple remedy for that is a 20 millimeter, six point. Don't use a 12 point because it'll damage them even more. You might have to wiggle it a little bit to get it off the lug nut. Alright, set those aside. Pull your wheel off. Now we're going to turn the wheel out so we can service these brakes easier. Now the caliper bolts a 12 millimeter. Now in this one you're going to take both bolts loose. Normally you can just take one loose and swivel it up, but this brake hose is kind of a tight fit. Unless you want to take that bolt out, you'll have more slack. But probably easier just to take these two bolts out. I'm going to grab my electric ratchet. It's faster. Go ahead and reverse that. Pull your old pads out. Notice the uneven wear. Sometimes that's a cause for concern, but sometimes that could be normal too. You want to check your slides to make sure they're nice and free. And they are. So sometimes you can't control that. Now normally I would use this tool, but I always tell you how you can use a C clamp or some big channel lock, so I'm just gonna show you how to do it. Alright, move them up another notch. Keep pushing it back until it stops and it won't go back no more. Now you're going to take the caliper bracket off so we can get this rotor off. Break loose your bolts first. And we're going to take our ratchet. You don't want to break them loose with your electric ratchet. That's a good way to tear it up. I don't know why I reversed that, knowing I had to use it. But now we can. Alright. Take your rotor off. And the reason why we're changing these rotors is because it's pulsating real bad. And normally I don't cut rotors when they pulsate real bad. Because all you're doing is making them thinner and more prone to warping even faster. And these rotors are really cheap. They're like 20 bucks a piece. Start your bolts. I'm gonna run it down. All right. Go ahead and switch that out because we're gonna need that 12. Now take your ratchet, wrench, whatever you have. Preferably a long one so you have more torque. Give those a nice little snug. Brake pads. Of 
flip your caliper back over. Grab your 12 and give it a nice little snug. We're going to put our wheel back on. Now, if you want to replace your lug nuts while you got them off, Good idea. They'll be 19 again for a little while because they're just going to swell back up. You can probably get online and, and order these lug nuts without these metal caps on them. Said so you're going to have to wiggle the socket. Just like that. I'm going to torque these down, but I'm not going to do that on video. We're finished here. 100 foot-pounds if you have a torque wrench at home. Anyways, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel so I can continue to make videos like this to make your life easier. Y'all have a good day. Peace out, YouTube.